The Koch curve is a fractal curve invented by Helga von Koch in the early 1900s and one of the earliest fractals to be described. The beauty of its shape comes from the strange characteristics that set it apart from the regular shapes found in standard geometry. Although we are exploring the amazing properties of the Koch curve here, other fractals also possess similar attributes. To construct the Koch curve, we begin with a straight line and divide it into three equal line segments. Then replace the middle segment with the two sides of an equilateral triangle of the same length as the removed segment. At level 1, the Koch curve has four equal line segments, each measuring one-third of the length of the initial straight line. For the next level, repeat this process for each of these four line segments. In this way, the Koch curve is constructed recursively by applying this iterative process on each line segment at every level. Here are some other forms of Koch fractal. Let's now take a closer look to find the self-similarity in the Koch curve across different levels of complexity. At each level, the Koch curve consists of four non-overlapping copies of the previous level scaled down by one-third. Every level of the Koch curve has smaller copies of its previous levels. This self-similar property provides a way to explore the dimensionality of the Koch curve. A line, a square, and a cube are also self-similar shapes with dimensions 1, 2, and 3, respectively. When scaled by a factor of 2, the length of the line increases 2 times, the area of the square increases 4 times, and the volume of the cube increases 8 times. All of these scaled shapes consist of unscaled copies of themselves. The line consists of two unscaled copies of itself. The square consists of four unscaled copies of itself and the cube consists of eight unscaled copies of itself. From this relation, let's make out an equation to find the solution for dimension.
Similarly, when scaled by a factor of 3, we get 3 unscaled copies of the line, 9 unscaled copies of the square, and 27 unscaled copies of the Q. Going back to the Koch curve, when scaled by a factor of 3, the Koch curve consists of four unscaled copies of itself from the previous level. Indeed, the Koch curve has a fractional dimension. Although the notion of fractional dimension is strange, fractals offer a useful way to explore the attributes of nature. The length of the Koch curve increases exponentially with the increase of its level of complexity. As the Koch curve becomes infinitely complex, its length gets infinitely long while covering the same distance. Thus, the Koch curve has introduced us to the beauty of fractal geometry.